never waited like this for men. My apologies. My deepest, deepest. Amen. TK, yeah. always great to catch up with you. And uh, now we have Bafana and Nigeria again. Can't wait, Julia. <laughs> I've heard so much noise from so many Nigerians. You know Nigerians, and you can't blame them. In any case, they have always had one over Bafana Bafana. But I think during the last couple of years, the, the tide seems to be turning. The fear factor for Bafana Bafana is gone. Not anymore. There was a time where you could actually wake up Nigerians in the middle of the night and say, hey, you play in Bafana. And they would say, okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. In Nigeria's minds, this game, it's payback, surely. Hopefully. We won't need to bring out our calculators this time around. I brought, I brought mine because you, you know, have. When, 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 whenever you're doing, uh, whenever you're doing Bafana qualifying, you need your calculator. <laughs> please, let, Julia. Let please. me just work it out. It's nine points <laughs> and four, eight for Nigeria, yeah. and we have eight, right? Yeah, I think Bafana needs just a point, just a draw. But Nigeria, I think deep down, deep down, they have a feeling that they could actually lose. For Bafana Bafana to beat them in Uyo, mm. what stops Bafana Bafana from repeating it again here? It's a return for Bafana to FNB Stadium. Yeah. They play Seychelles there, a record win for the country. Surely that's also playing something up here now. For the first time since South Africa returned to international football, they won by a record score, 6-0. And, um, and they must be going back to, 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 to the FNB to play in Nigeria and say, we beat them there in, in, in Uyo. They are coming at a place where we, we won 6-0 the last time out. I think it should be a confidence booster. Yes, I know that there, there's quite a huge Nigerian community that lives in and around Johannesburg. And uh, some people are saying maybe Nigerians will outnumber South Africans. No problem. But the critical feature here was the fact that the game will be played at high altitude. I think it's about 1,700 above sea level. I remember when the late Stephen Cash was still alive, I spoke to him and he said to me, TK, you guys almost killed us. We just couldn't breathe. The last 30 minutes of the game, we couldn't breathe. We were almost on our knees. I'm looking at the current Absa Premiership and yeah. I'm looking at a player like Kolam Lambo. He's running that midfield of Orlando Pirates and they are, they're clicking at the moment, but he's not there. On current form, Julia, I don't think there's anyone in the South African Premier League who can touch Kolam Lambo, as well as Ben Moswari. Yeah. For me, Ben Moswari as well has been outstanding for Paris. But, um, you know, I, I had a chat with Stuart Baxter and he was saying, for the sake of continuity, there is a group of players that he has been working with. You know, a surprise for me was Makaringe. You know, Makaringe was, was quite a surprise. And I asked him about it and he said, look, Makaringa brings that physicality. And if you look at the Nigerian players, they're quite big boys. Yeah. You know? And maybe, you know, trying to bring a balance. So then what about the Nigeria squad? They have kept almost the same team that they started with in the qualifiers. Although um, one like uh, Miguel Obi yeah. is still missing in action. That was the big one. Yeah. That, that, that's the big one. What's going on around that? Apparently, his club, his club is lying dangerously low in the relegation and they just don't want to risk him flying all the way from Asia in China to come to South Africa. He might even pick an injury, you never know. Football is a physical game and they just don't want to risk him because he's their key player. The question then about that home advantage. Yeah. In Seychelles, there was no such thing. Do you expect, because it is Nigeria and because they do come with these big stars and this big reputation, we're going to see a very different FNB that we saw that time. This is a crucial game. Of course it is, yeah. It, it is very, very crucial. And I think um, a lot of South Africans will say, you know what, if, if we win this game, we qualify. When was the last time we qualified for a major mm, tournament? Mm, mm. It's, it's, a, it's, it's one of those games where you feel that, hey, you know, let me be a patriot. Mm. Let me go support, you know, let me show the love for, the, for Bafana Bafana. Take my weight. If you are a betting woman, Put yeah. your money on Bafana Bafana. Okay, what, what's going on, Masabet? I think if you can just put in there 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one, Bafana. 2-1 two, Bafana. They can do it. Okay. Even 3-1, hey? Yeah. Three, it's possible. Mm. I tell you, it's possible. Raising our hopes. Okay, so I'm going to put 
3-1 as a bet. And if I win anything, we'll go half-half. Shake. <laughs> Thank you.